the UK voters uh, voted to exit the EU, which comes as a little bit of surprise to the markets. And we're seeing that reflected today in the, both the stock market and the commodity markets and the financial markets across the world, a little bit of shock. And I, uh, for agriculture, there's a lot of implications of this, and most of them come in the area of the trade relations with the EU, but also also the world. Um, first, we do sell products into the EU and, and into Britain. And so the, it raises a question, okay, what's the future there? Are we going to continue to be able to do that? How are things going to shake out between the EU and the UK? Secondly, as we're seeing in today's markets, it's creating a lot of uncertainty out there. Uh, and Anytime we're engaged in a global marketplace like U.S. agriculture is, uncertainty is not good. The other area in the way of trade, we've been negotiating the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership to try to, to add some more structure and some more certainty to our trade relationship with the EU. Well, I'm guessing that kind of takes a back seat right now because they got to figure out all this other thing that's going on. Lastly, within our country, the Federal Reserve has hinted that they're watching the Brexit to see how, what they might mean for the future world economy and interest rates in this country. This might mean that the Federal Reserve, you know, they've been eyeing looking at raising interest rates over the, over the next few months or this year. And that might put a little brakes on that a little bit. We'll have to see again. But uh, considering agriculture and that farmers are, are using debt now more because of the economic conditions, those interest rates in there are an important factor in their input cost. And, and so we'll have to watch that closely as well. I would say a couple things to our members. Uh, wait and see and watch because uh, obviously, again, the trade implications of all this. But uh, as the markets show today, I think the volatility uh, in the markets is, is just going to be over the, as, as the market tries to assess what this means in the future of, of the EU and the future of the world economy, uh, we're going to see some volatility there. So hang on, it's going to be a bit of a wild ride, I think.